Hi, I'm GeoDab, and in this video, what we're going to do is have a quick look at doing a collision mesh, a custom collision mesh for a vehicle. Now, if, well, in fact, what I'll do, I'll just load up my recent version of the vehicle. Here we go. You might have seen this in my uh, recent blender to Unreal Engine vehicle video and that's the one that we're going to use and if I go back to my collision file there we go let's just hide that for a second as you can see here it's just a cut down version of the mesh now I say a cut down version you just want in a placeholder here to give you a visual representation of the space that you need for when you're doing your collision mesh. Now the collision mesh obviously being this one, I've tried to keep it convex, lots of reasons for that, but uh, <coughs> that's a different story. Now still simple but it's not a bog standard box and it's one item. Okay, it's easier to do these sort of things in your 3D application as what it is in uh, Unreal Engine Physics Asset Editor. So this is one of the reasons I believe that they've actually gave us this option. Now the thing is, what you got to remember is, let me just hide that for a moment, no bones no vertex groups it's a static mesh as if you're doing a normal static mesh for your environment but this time it's for a we're going to use it for a vehicle now i make that i try to make a point of that because what you need to do is on your collision mesh you need to have the prefix ucx and the name of the mesh so that matches up all fine and dandy export fbx i'll just leave everything as that i've already done this as you can see so we'll cancel that and we'll go into unreal engine now in here in the asset editor i've got my car ue4 folder and all i'm going to do is import the collision, there we go, smashing on this. Now, for me, in this case, it's important. You might also find it's done in on default one convex hull per UCX. Now, if your collision mesh is not purely convex, you might want to untick this yeah so you actually get the proper shape if you're finding that your collision mesh is not coming out the right shape it's probably because of this on importing so we'll just import that yeah no smoothing drips yeah we're using blender so just have a quick look at this and as you can see now our collision yeah nice fine and dandy quite happy with that and its number of primitives is one. Okay, smashing. Just save, exit. Now, in the physics asset, let's just open this up. Now, this would be your standard physics asset. Yeah, now we've all know and love for vehicles in the Unreal Engine. So you've got a box some spheres you might have lots of boxes here to make everything fit together now we don't really want that do we so what i'm going to do i'm just going to show you some very very basics delete all bodies below right we've got absolutely no bodies on here now when you've got no bodies you can only create a new body and it will give you this and we'll go yeah okay then Let's just very quickly set up the wheels, just in case nobody's actually seen anybody doing this. Now you might wonder what on earth is doing. 
so here we go right click new body set it to a sphere because it's a weird and again new body sphere wheel now I've been told that these no longer have to be set to cinematic on the physics side I believe them I'm old school I'll just set them anyway it doesn't well it might affect it the performance somewhere but at the moment we have still got this big ugly box or swivel so how do we do that well, select the bone that you wish in our case the root right click and now you get these options here right, not just add a new body copy collision from static mesh uh, which one do you want okay search is a fantastic little piece of kit right here I've got two versions so we're going to go for that one because you can see it's got one primitive and you like that, yeah smashing but we don't need this this one there now I'll show you the mistake that I done five minutes ago uh, yeah delete uh, hey what was it all gone new body get the collision back I know somebody's going to be sat there watching this giving it yeah fool and you're right because what I did I click on sphere right click and I went to the first delete and that says delete selected body the body is actually all not all of the bit everything that is on that bone so what we want is to go down to primitives and delete that primitive and that just leaves us with our nice little groovy little box okay and save close reduce play and there we go now I am not going to switch on coll view collisions on here because my computer will just collapse uh, something that's annoying me here is this little bit here the wheels move but the axis doesn't so we're going to deal with that in the next little video okay so let's get out of there so everybody's happy with that a quick little run through there we go make sure you got your static mesh uh, the collision mesh named correctly UCX prefix import it and then copy the properties into the physics asset okay everybody happy with that good see you soon